Hello and welcome. My name is Prasenjit and today I'll take you through another case study for the Google Cloud uh, Architect Professional Certification exam and that is EHR Healthcare. Now this case study is about a uh, software as a service offering co company called EHR Healthcare and it provides the services to hospitals, global medical offices and third party insurance companies worldwide. And this company EHR Healthcare aims to leverage on the Google Cloud platform to fulfill their future business growth demands. So I'm going to take you through what this uh, EHR healthcare business looks like and how we can build that on a Google Cloud platform, what are the various components that we can use from the Google Cloud services and uh, build the architecture for EHR healthcare. Now my goal in this video is to help you visualize the uh, EHR healthcare architecture. So visualizing that will help you understand how the moving parts for EHR healthcare would work on Google Cloud Platform and that will in turn help you answer the questions uh, that are asked in this Google Cloud Platform certification examination for professional cloud architects. And uh, as an architect, it's very important to understand why each component or service is going to be used and if that is the right choice for a particular setup, if it is cost efficient, if it is reliable, if it is resilient or not. So understanding it is very important. Getting your basics right is important to answer questions and be successful in this uh, Google Cloud certification exam and also as a solutions architect down the line. So let's get started and this case study as I said is important for you for those taking the exams because you, uh, for, uh, you can expect a minimum of 10 questions being asked on any two case studies uh, that are listed in the official examination guide. Uh, I'll drop a link about uh, uh, the Google Cloud uh, official documentation for EHR healthcare case study. So go through it, understand what it says and because it is just a text document you would need something to visualize it. So here we have some diagrams around it and how this EHR healthcare would look like when it is deployed on Google Cloud. So knowing the moving parts will definitely help you understand the solutioning concepts, the products uh, or services uh, that are being put to use to build this solution and uh, and to understand how uh, we can build a good architecture on Google Cloud for this case study. All right, so for the EHR Healthcare, um, they have an existing environment which is currently hosted in multiple co-location facilities uh, which are nothing but uh, private data centers you can say and uh, the compute facing applications are web based and uh, many of them have recently been containerized to run on a group of Kubernetes clusters. The data is stored in a mixture of relational and non-relational databases. For example, they are using MySQL, MS SQL, Server, Redis, and MongoDB. And EHR uh, is also hosting several uh, legacy files and API-based integrations uh, with uh, their insurance partners um, on the provider on-premise premises. And these uh, systems are scheduled to be replaced over the next several years. There is no plan to upgrade or move these systems at the current time. So these are the case study requirements and also they have a Microsoft Active Directory which manages their users and federations and uh, monitoring is currently being done via open source tools and uh, they have some email alerts but nobody he pays any heed to them so that is somewhere uh, where improvements need to come in. So that's the existing setup and uh, by analyzing 
uh, this case study, you would learn that uh, there are certain services which can immediately be replaced uh, on Google Cloud. One of them is uh, the Google Kubernetes engine, which can be put into action. Uh, with auto scaling features enabled for scaling their environment because they already have moved into containerization of their apps so gke will be a very good host for these containers and then since they are using some open source uh, deployments uh, ci cd pipelines using cloud repository jenkins spinnaker builds um, docker container registry and terraform tools can be put into use so that the applications they have can be modernized uh, to a microservice architecture and uh, the uh, clusters can be designed uh, on a multi-region or a multi-cluster uh, way so that maximum availability uh, is provided for customer facing applications and uh, Cloud monitoring can be used to provide centralized visibility on system performance, logs, and alerts. We can use Google BigQuery to provide scalable data analytics for deriving useful business insights. A CDN can be used, uh, uh, which uses the Google Edge network to deliver content closer and faster uh, to the users with reduced latency. And obviously, Google has a wonderful set of uh, machine learning tools. Uh, BigQuery ML modules can generate predictions based on industry trends, and uh, they can help analyze large data on the BigQuery data warehouse to provide these predictions. So that sets the premise for, um, uh, for this uh, case study. Now, to visualize uh, this as a diagram, you can look into this diagram that I'm sharing. So you can uh, go on and uh, zoom in each of the parts to understand better uh, what uh, this part looks like. So it's about the developers uh, pushing code into code repository, and then it goes into a CI CD. Uh, like Jenkins and uh, from the Jenkins master and Jenkins slaves um, in the quorum uh, they can be used to run the jobs uh, to build docker images which goes to the container registry and then we have anthos config management uh, for the configuration and environment variables injection and then uh, the entire hosting is done on Google Cloud Platform with uh, multi-cluster Kubernetes for staging environment, production environment, and uh, everything is controlled by Google IAM policies. And uh, Google Cloud Directory Sync uh, can sync with their existing uh, on-premise Active Directory so that the federations are done. And uh, Anthos Config Management, again, can uh, help configure the prod GK on-prem uh, and connect it to the Google Cloud Platform resources which are going to be built here with Cloud Interconnect. So these are important parts you should look into. And uh, further down, the, there would be data sources, MySQL, Memory Store, or Redis, and then Cloud Data Store. And uh, there would be ETL processes going on and uh, events would come in through pops up and uh, obviously there would be a machine learning uh, uh, platform where the predictions would go on and uh, we will also have a monitoring dashboard with different components for telemetry for cloud monitoring alerting cloud tracing and um, the users uh, can uh, connect to the applications using cloud load balancing, cloud CDN, uh, API uh, platforms like APG, and uh, everything then connects to the backend services that run on uh, uh, the Google Kubernetes cluster. So this is basically how the setup looks like for uh, EHR. Uh, so let me now explain this solution. like how it works end to end to give you a better picture. So based on the requirements that we uh, just discussed, uh, the central theme of this case study 
in one line is to provide hybrid cloud environment with CI CD pipelines for rapid deployment cycles. So that is the theme. So when you see a question about EHR healthcare, this is the theme. Like you need to have a hybrid cloud environment, you need to have CI CD so that you can have uh, rapid deployments and roll out new upgrades very fast. And uh, basically, the EHR healthcare uh, is a very simple solution, so to say, but you have to know what each of these components does in depth so that you will be un able to answer your questions and uh, how each of these components work together, what is the flow, what comes after what, and so on. So go through this diagram and make a mental picture of this case study and then go into depth to understand more about the EHR healthcare solution. So this is all about the session and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to help you with them and uh, see you next time around. Thank you.